Hello, 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 my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy. And I thought I would come here today to uh, share with you guys another quick and easy craft just in time for the holiday season so you guys can get started on these if you'd like to. Uh, guys, these are just the, uh, the uh, clothes pins that we see and buy uh, all the time uh, in the stores. I'm sure some of you guys have seen the little glitters here and then the cutie little embellishments and stuff. Guys, these are simple and easy to do yourself all day, every day, and never have to buy these again. So, uh, with no further ado, we'll get started, y'all. Um, y'all need some clothespins, of course. Uh, I use these uh, open and shut alligator clippies is the ones that I use. You c there's a multitude of sizes of these guys. Uh, there's mediums, there's small ones. Then there's these bigger ones, like the ones that Miss Paula sent me. Thank you, Miss Paula. Uh, we're going to alter some of these today and let y'all see what you can do with these. Um, but you're going to need some clothes pins. And guys, uh, there is no item list for these, really. If you can get it to fit on the end of a clothes pin... As far as embellishments is concerned, I've seen guys put things this big on one of these clothespins. So, I mean, that is strictly up to you. You can use bling. Uh, so, if you got some bling, you can drag that out. Some glitter. Um, guys, different kinds of these paints. Uh, these little acrylics that are 50 cents at the Walmart store. All the way up to these little metallic ones. Um, you can use stickers. Um, you can use little flat back pearls. I've got some little flat back roses. Uh, some of the uh, bling that we all use, you can cut these into little squares and put them on there. If you have distress inks, these really, really take well to distress inks. Uh, like I said, guys, the, the choices is endless with these, what you can do. And today, uh, this is going to be basically just a little kind of craft along. And just kind of show you uh, what you can do with some of this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, get cracking on it. Um, I've got me some of this uh, metallic paint here. Really pretty. Whenever it dries, it's got kind of a pearlesque sheen to that. I hope y'all can see that. That's really, really pretty, I think. And you can just come on in here with it. And uh, you can paint the whole thing if you like. Um, you can just paint the sides here and uh, paper these, glitter these. I mean, like I said, the choices is endless uh, what you can do with these. Uh, they're just simply gorgeous no matter what you do with them, I think. I think they're fantastic. I love them for everything. Uh, whenever you get them done and stuff, uh, like these glitter ones right here, uh, all they do with these guys, uh, all you do is just simply get some of the kids' Elmer's glue and just paint this whole thing and then just glitter it is all you do. And then if you want more glitter, just once it dries, just go in here and just add a little bit more. And then whenever that's dry, just run you a thin coat of Elmer's glue over the top of it to seal it. And there you go. That's all they do, y'all. That is all they do. All of those in those packages that we buy for two, three dollars a pop right there. That's all they do. Look how gorgeous that is. Is that absolutely superb? And that is all that is, guys. That's just plain old Elmer's glue. There's no special trick that they're using to this stuff or nothing like that. It's just Elmer's glue and uh, some glitter. That's all. Um, these right here, like I said, you can use anything that you want or have with these. If you've got some of the Distress paints, they work well with them, the regular paints. And, and what I like to do with some of them, guys, is just hit the sides here by where the uh, closure is at right there. And just hit that with any kind of paint or Distress ink or whatever you want to. Just kind of finishes it out. And then some of them, I'll just leave them uh, raw on the edges there and just decorate the uh, front and back with paper or glitter or something and just leave one side raw. Like I said, the choices is endless, guys, and completely yours. 
of what you do with these. Like I say, if they can fit on the end of a paper clip, uh, paper clip, if they can fit on the end of a clothespin, there you go. Like I said, I've seen them glue everything to these. I'm going to use some of these stickers that Miss Paula sent me today. And, uh, with these stickers, now these here, really, you don't have to do uh, no backing on because these are nice and thick. These are the nice thick chipboard uh, uh, cutouts here. Uh, so stuff like this, you wouldn't really have to back. But if they're just a plain old thin sticker or something like that, I would suggest that you back them. Like I did with this rainbow one that she sent me here. I really, really like these. I just simply put one of these on some black cardstock. I'll show you this real quick. I'll choose this little bit bigger one right here, and we'll put it on one of the big clothespins. But all you do is just put this on your paper here, and then just cut around it, just leaving a little shadow is all you got to do. And that it, it finishes it. It really makes your colors pop whenever you leave that little shadow of black uh, or white, you know, whatever cardstock you're using. Uh, try to go with something that'll uh, contrast to it, but that you can see a little bit. And it adds a little bit more depth and dimension to your art projects. You know, and that's what these are, guys, whenever we do them like this. Look how beautiful that is. And you can see a little bit of that black right there. Plus, it also helps make them a little bit more sturdy, too, for you. Another idea that you could go with is if I had some in here, I'd go ahead and do it. Uh, if you had some of those little uh, foam pop dots and stuff, you can pop pop dots on there. Um, if you're going to use the glitter uh, as well as an embellishment, I would suggest just leave a tiny tip bare. So that it's easier for you to adhere what your uh, embellishment is. Without the glitter, uh, the glitter makes it hard to adhere. So yeah, you can definitely use uh, glitter plus a beautiful embellishment. But like I said, just back it off a little. Now how gorgeous is that, you guys? I mean, look at that. That is simply stunning. Again, thank you, Miss Paulette. As you can see... I'm going to uh, end up doing every single one of these is going to be altered up. I'm not going to do them on here. My God, it would take me two hours. Uh, but the uh, six-pack, maybe even a 12-pack of these uh, will go into my next uh, giveaway. And we'll just keep those going. But, I mean, just look at how dazzling these are. And the choices are endless, guys, like I said, of what you can do. If you have some little punches laying around and stuff, um, just punch you out um, out of some paper that you've got. You don't even have to have thick cardstock or nothing. Just double or triple up on it, you know, if you don't. And just punch you out some shapes there and uh, put them on there. You know, like I said, now I've got pretty good sized cardstock on here, but like for the fall, there you go. Just put you a little piece of glue back there on you, uh, one of your little clothes pins that you've decorated up, and there you have it. You've got a gorgeous, any time of year, like I said, anything you got, you guys. I mean, really, the choices are endless on these. If you was to buy a six-pack of these, in the store already painted up and stuff what would you pay for that probably two dollars a package three for that you could get a whole big package of blanks just like this and do just exactly this and make your own you guys you know why should we go out here and pay for that whenever we can do this ourselves i mean all day long i can stand here and just paint these and glitter these up and just have myself a great time. I just love it. I, I mean, I'll go through these. I'll do every single one of these, just like I said. And however dark you want it, whatever, just keep doing it in layers. You know, I wouldn't glob it on there. Just do you a nice thin layer like that. And then let that dry. And then come back and hit it again if you'd like it a little bit darker. You can paint the whole thing, just these two sides right here. Uh, like I said, the choices is completely yours, up to you. 
and you can do a multitude of projects with these guys i mean i've put the flower pinwheels on these i've used every kind of embellishment pretty much i would think that you could think of uh, on these i've used metal embellishments plastic embellishments flowers cabanchons i've used these gemstones by the scores I love these, these little cabanchons right here with the little bubbles on the flatbacks. I love those. Anything flatback like that. I mean, these uh, gorgeous little cutouts and stuff, just adjust them to the size of your clothespin, you know. I wouldn't put something, well, I mean, you could even do that, really. I mean, I can't even sit and say that. How cute is that little clothespin right there? You know, the the choices is up to you guys. Like I said, this is just exactly what you do, though. To uh, do your paper and stuff on them, if you've got your gorgeous paper fabric. Fabric does well on these, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> All you do is this. Just put your uh, thin glue. You can use Elmer's, guys. I mean, it'll work. Just make sure you get plenty of it on there and get you a nice coverage. And just line it up on the edge of your paper right there. Just like that. And all we're going to do is keep a hold to this, guys, and trim around this. And you can do a rough cut if you're using a big old piece of paper. And then just come on back in here and trim it to the size that you want it. Straighten it up. And if you get, uh, if you're uh, OCD about sizes and, you know, complete straightness throughout and stuff, just simply get you your measure. I would guess these probably at a good half an inch. Uh, maybe... I'd say a quarter. These might be a quarter of an inch, but don't hold me to that. I ain't got my ruler in here. But, I mean, that's it. And it just cuts you several strips and pop them down. But this is all I do. I just glue them and trim around them is all. And it takes them just seconds to dry, really. I mean, you can sit watching TV and do a ton of these in no time. And have these decorated up any way you like them. You know, you got a bunch of little flowers or something sitting around. You don't know quite what to do with them. Uh, you got the clothespin bag out back. You ain't hung clothes in a while. Or you got 10,000 million of them. Or you've been to the craft store, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's got these guys. Ding, ding. Uh, pick you up a couple packages of them. And just sit around one day while you're sitting there watching TV. And create some clothespins. And, I mean, I love these things. I do. I, I'll sit and do every one of these. Just like I said, I'll alter every single one of them. And, and love them. I absolutely adore these. And they really, really look good. Uh, guys, this is another quick, easy craft for you uh, that doesn't cost a lot of money to bring back that good old country Christmas feel. You know, from whenever you was a kid, when everybody used to make things and Boy, wasn't it a joy, really, back then. Uh, you know, you knew that you might be getting uh, orange or, you know, a candy stick in your stocking and a handmade doll or something. Or, you know, it, the feeling was just different, you know. It wasn't so commercialized. You know, I always personally like to put that good old-fashioned country Christmas back into our holidays each and every year. We do, I encourage this without the, throughout the family, and we do little craft projects like this and send each other, and uh, we bring the joy back into it. You know, I, I, I can't stand how commercialized everything's gotten, and I just love the feel of Christmas. I love that wonder and the joy, and, you know, to me, it means more when you've made something for somebody, you know, that's more from the heart. And so this is the kinds of stuff that we do, guys. I mean, I love these clothespins. Like I said, I've been doing these for a long time. Uh, you know, it's just something that's it's gorgeous. People buy these and spend lots of money on them. And I think why, 
you know, whenever we can just sit right here at the house and paint these up, stain these up, trim up paper, put bling on them, little flowers. I mean, I've seen ladies do creations on these things that, well, you, I mean, you talk about beautiful. The shabby chic looks on these, you can put little pieces of lace and think about wisps of feathers and stuff like that in behind uh, your little, um, like, flat backs or different flowers that you put on just like these here. Just give them a quick little hold right there and uh, till they dry. But, I mean, behind that, you know, if I'd have thought about it, I'd have snatched that package of uh, feathers I got. It. I got a whole, uh, that package of feathers. I got so many feathers. And I uh, put one of these behind this little flower here once that dries. Just envision that with a little feather behind that, how cute that would be. Or a little piece of trim sticking up of some kind. I mean, just on and on and on, guys. The choices is absolutely endless on these. Like I said, what you do, what you put on them. Uh, I mean, you can really get your mind going with these. And I just love them. Like I said, they're cheap. They're easy. You're looking for a great rainy day project with the kids? Sick them on these. Here you go. Put that little uh, gadget gizmo down you do this with and let's do some crafts. You know, even a quick little bling like that. I mean, just really snazzes that up. And just think about it, guys. If you was to make, like I said, a six-pack of these for the people in your family and just cut a piece of cardstock like this, just a thin little two-inch strip of cardstock or one inch whatever just enough to get a grip there and and uh six pack of your clothes pins in a multitude or get you a, a style going and do you know this one gets a set of roses this one gets a set of this but how cute it would those be in one of your gift packages this year and how appreciative would your people be to get one of these also something to think about again i didn't bring one in here but you know you can envision uh, just decorate one side of yours and put a little magnet on the back. How handy and quick those would be to put on the refrigerator to hold quick and easy little notes to each other. Uh, artwork from the kids, uh, you know, that we all love to display on the refrigerator. Are these not the most beautiful ideas for a magnet? You know, here you go. Uh, just expand your mind with these guys. Like I said, the choices is endless and totally up to you. There's so many sizes of these. I really, really love them. They're quick, easy, cheap. And you can do a multitude of these just sitting and watching TV. There you go. And you're all done. And just think of your, your schemes and things, uh, holidays is coming up. You know, little Santa Clauses, little reindeers. Go to Dollar Tree, like I said, and stock up on some stickers. Just put you some cardstock behind them, like I said. And just look for little things around the house. You'd be amazed at what you could come up with. Um, if you've got a, a few little roses, sometimes you got an old uh, corn broom out in the garage back there. It's got some good wisps on it still. <coughs> Color some of them up in gold and stick them behind it. Huh? Uh, find the little twigs and stuff out in your yard. You know, different little, uh, now things is drying up. We're going into the fall, you guys. Think about your real foliage that you have out in the yard. Some of that that's dried already for you or that you could dry. Uh, just simply hit it again with your Elmer's glue to seal it. Let it dry and you can adhere those to these. I have done so many things to these guys, it's amazing what you can glue to a, a clothespin and you're going, oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing, thing, you know, and like I said, a six pack of those to to family and friends, you know, I mean, just the, the elegant little touches with some little paint there, you know, I, I just really think that's almost bordering on a little shabby chic right there, if I, maybe if I put a little lace behind it or some tool, you know. The choices is endless, guys. Like I said, I'm going to do all of these. Uh, I'm probably going to use several of uh, the stickers that Miss Paula's given me here. But, I mean, I don't want to turn this into an hour-long segment. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with these. 
and how easy it is. So uh, go on out there and get the clothes pins because I know y'all got some and uh, or mom does, somebody does out there in the shed that they used to use, some of you younger ones. Uh, head on out there and get the clothes pins. Get to looking up the paint and stuff. What do we got in the house? We got some Elmer's glue and some glitter. Uh, if you ain't got no glitter, think about making your own. You got a piece of glitter paper. Chunk, 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 chunk. You can keep chopping it up until you get it pretty darn thin. Those even look good on here. I've done uh, mosaic pieces on these and everything. I've took uh, little pictures and cut them all up and went all up the uh, thing with it in different shapes and stuff. Hit it with some glue again. Decoupage, you guys. You can do all kinds of things with these. Just just really think about it. And uh, like I said, think about the magnets. And what great gifts these would make, y'all, really, for the stocking and stuff. So, you know, let's put some fun back into the holidays. And y'all get creative with these. Again, if you guys make a bunch of these and you feel comfortable, I would love to see some of your creations. I bet they're absolutely scrumptious. So share them with us. And again, you guys, have a great time with these and really enjoy yourself. And have a great crafty weekend. And guys, again, prayers and thoughts go out to all those being affected by this hurricane steel and who have been affected already. Uh, lots of prayers and, and heartfelt. I hope it gets over with soon and everybody continues to be as good as they've been so far with it. And my heart goes out to those who have lost family and friends. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, again, guys, until I see you again, y'all have a great, great weekend. Enjoy uh, working with these awesome clothespin creations. And until next time, bye-bye uh, and be safe.